Renaming decimal numbers to fractions. How can we rename decimal numbers to fractions? Paano natin going fractions ang isang decimal number? Ano ibig sabihin ng decimal number? Okay, let's study this illustration. Yung number sa baba, ang tawag natin dyan ay decimal number. Bakit? Because it has decimal point. And it is a combination of a whole number and a decimal fraction. Okay, kaya tinawag na decimal number. Ngayon, anong pagkakaiba ng place value ng whole number at saka decimal fraction? As you can see, ang unang place value, ang tawag natin dyan ay once sa whole number. Sa decimal naman, ang unang place value ay tenths. Do you see the difference? Okay, at ang tenths na ginamit ay may th. Hindi kagaya ng whole number, walang th. Okay, nakita niyo pagkakaiba? Okay, very good. Again, ang unang place value sa decimal fraction is tenths. Ang sumunod ay hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and so on and so forth. Okay? Ang, ang whole number naman ay magsisimula sa ones. Sumunod ang tens, hundreds, and thousands. Say for this example, 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is a decimal number. Paano natin siya gawing, siyang gawing fraction? Okay? Ilang digit ang meron kay 0 0.5? Okay, isa lang, di ba? 5. And the place value is tens. Ibig sabihin, ang denominator natin, kapag ginawa ang fraction ay ten. Paano naman ang numerator? Okay, ang gawin nyo lang ay kunin nyo lang ang 5 at iyon ang gawin nyo numerator. Okay? Simply as that. Yan, so you're going, put, you're going to put 5 as the numerator. Now, we're going to get, of course, the lowest term. Para mas madaling makuha ang lowest term, anong gagawin? We're going to find, use GCF para makuha nyo yung exact lowest term. So, the lowest term is one half. Another example, 0 0.6. Okay, how many digit? Again, it's one, six lang, isang digit lang. So, gagamit tayo ng denominator na 10 and the numerator is 6. We're going to get the lowest term. Ang sagot dyan ay Yes, 3 fifth. Okay, how about 0 0.28? Ilang digit yan? Dalawa. Ibig sabihin, pag dalawa, gagamit tayo ng denominator na 100, of course. Tapos, kukunin lang natin yung 28. Yun yung ilagay natin na numerator. Okay, yeah, and then of course, we're going to get again the lowest term of 28 over 100. And the lowest term is, remember, you're going to get a GCF of 28 and 100, and the lowest term is 7 over 25. Yeah. How about 0 0.55? Again, there are two digit numbers, so we're going to use 100 as denominator. And 55 as the, as the numerator. Okay, and we're going to get the lowest term. What is the lowest term? Okay. The lowest term is 11 over 20. Okay, how about this? 0 0.2. There's only one digit. So what you're going to do, the denominator, it would be, ano denominator? Pag isang digit lang. Yes, 10. And the numerator is 2. Getting the lowest term. And the lowest term is 1 fifth. Very good. Next, about this, 0 0.45. There are only two digits. Ibig sabihin, yes, 100 is the numerator and 45 is the numerator. The lowest term is 9 over 20. Now, renaming fractions to decimal numbers. So we're going to convert fractions to decimal numbers. So, paano gawin natin? Example, 
5 over 10. Ano gawin natin para maging decimal? As you can see, our denominator is 10. Okay, so dapat ang ating decimal ay ano, one digit lang din. So we will just get 5 and we put point, decimal point. So it's 0 0.5. Okay, para magiging decimal. Yeah. 8 tenths. Ano gawin natin dito? Yes, tenths ang ginamit. Kaya one digit lang din ang, yung, ang ating decimal. So we're going to, the answer is 0 0.8. Kasi 10 ang ginamit. Now, 35 over 100. Ang ginamit ay 100 as denominator. So dapat two, digit, two digits ang decimal natin. So what will happen to 35? Magiging 0 0.35. Two digits, okay? Kasi 100 ang ginamit. Okay. Next, so about 8 over 100. As you can see, 100 ang ginamit. So kailangan magiging 2 decimal ang at Two, two digits ang ating decimal. Paano natin gawing two digits ang eight? Kasi 100 ang ginamit. Paano? Ganyan po ba? 0 0.8? Pag 0 0.8, magiging tenths yan. Anong gawin? Paano gawin? Okay. So, magiging 0 0.08 dapat para maging hundreds. Next, 7 over 10. Ano mag mangyari dyan? Ano natin gawing decimal? Okay, 0 0.7. 24 over 100. Okay, maging 0 0.24. About 6 <laughs> over 100. Kailangan maging 2 digits ang decimal natin. Kasi 100 ang denominator? Yes, it's 0 0.06. Paano naman kapag ganito? 1 half. Paano natin gawing decimal? Paano? Okay, dahil 2, 1 digit lang, gagamit na tayo ng 10 as denominator. And then, anong multiply natin kay 2 para makuha ang 10? Yes, 5. So kung 5 ang ginamit, 5 din dapat sa itaas. So, 1 times 5 equals 5. Now, we're going, that's a time that we're going to get that decimal. 10 ang ginamit. Anong mangyari kay 5? Magiging 0 0.5. Kasi tens ang denominator. Very good. Next. How about this one? 12 over 50. Okay, dahil 50, dalawang digit. Ano mangyari sa denominator? Yes, maging 100. Ngayon, anong multiply natin kay 50 para makuha 100? Yes, it's times 2. So, times 2 din sa taas. So, magiging 12 times 2, magiging 24. And that's the time na kunin mo ang decimal. Dahil 2 digits ang 100, magiging 0 0.24. Okay, so ganyan ang gagawin natin. Now, we can do this also. We're going to divide 1 by 2. So, we divide natin. So, 1 sa loob, the divisor, I mean, the dividend is 1, the divisor is 2. Anong multiply natin kay 2 para makuha ang 1? Wala. So, anong gawin natin? Magdagdag tayo ng 0. Pero bago ka magdagdag, maglalagay ko muna ng point sa taas or 0 point. And that's the time na lagyan mo ng 0 ang 1 para magiging... Yes, magiging 10 ang 1. So, anong multiply kay 2 para makuha ang 10? Anong multiply? Yes, 5 para magiging 10. So, 2 times 5 is 10. And we're gonna subtract it. 10 minus 10 equals 0. So, our answer is 0 0.5. Now, how about this? Another example. 12 over 50. So, gawin natin ding step ito. 12 sa loob, 5 sa labas. And we cannot divide 50 by 12. I mean, 12 by 50. Kasi mataas si 50. So, anong gawin natin? We're going to add 0. But before that, yes, we're going to put point, 0 points sa taas. And then, we're gonna add 0 para maging 120. 
Anong multiply natin kay 50 para makuha ang 120? Wala. Walang eksakto, di ba? Anong pinakamalapit? Pinakamalapit? Yes. 2 times 50, magiging 100. 100 ang pinaka malapit So, 2 ang gamitin natin. So, 2 times 50, the answer is 100. So, we're going to subtract it. The answer is 0 minus 0, 0. Right? And then 2 minus 0, 2. Pwede ba natin divide ang 20 by 50? No. So, we're going to add 0. Kailangan, ex walang hindi pwedeng may remainder. So, we're going to add 0 para maging sakto ang sagot natin. Yes, 200. Anong multiply kay 50? Para makuha ang 200? 4. So, 4 times 50, 200. We're gonna subtract it. The answer is 0. So, our answer now is 0.24. Ganun dapat. Okay? Okay.